Oh, another video um, of a completed project. This time it's um, Bandai's 144 scale Millennium Falcon. Um, as you can see, it's completed. It's. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I put a lighting kit in there. I haven't used the Bandai's own one. I used a. Uh, aftermarket e type one um so in that you get the engine lights though you can't see them you might be able to if i just turn off some of the lights so you might be able to see so you get the light in the um gunners bay um you've got some headlights some lights in the cockpit and i don't know if you can see the light from the engine on the wall um a bit of it there. It's kind of a hard angle to show it at. I might um, pick it up actually without breaking anything. Um, turn it around. There you go. Engine, engine lights. It's a good kit. Um, it's a band like kit, so everything pretty much fits together with some without any glue. Um, some parts I chose to use glue just because they were little, in case they fell off. Um, but it, the fit is so tight that it would probably hold it. I did have to um, make some adjustments to the kit for the lighting, to, uh, mainly in these. Um, triangle pieces, I don't know what you call them, um, to run the wires through for the main front lights, um, but apart from that it was fine. Um, gone for a heavily weathered sort of theme, um, because I believe from watching old Star Wars films and that, that the Millennium Falcon was quite old in that film, so that's what I've gone for. Heavily used, heavily weathered. Um, pretty happy with it. Uh, the only thing I probably would have done differently, because it gives you decals for the um, window frames, I probably would have, I mean it's not so bad if you haven't got the lighting kit, but I probably would have painted them in hindsight now because I got the lighting kit in it because you can see the sort of light shines through I don't know why it's shine, showing up but the light sort of shines through the decal um, plus you have to put it on after you painted it and um, weathered it and done all your washes and stuff like that so you got a day weathered model and then really clean pieces of decal so um had to post weather that after all varnishes and that obviously because that would make if i didn't that would make the clear parts go cloudy just basically did a well, i think what they call a sludge wash with like oils and browns and that, blacks um Put that over uh, uh, Tamiya Laka uh, gloss varnish, and it makes it really easy just to wipe off as tissue, apart from obviously in the recesses. So I find that quite an easy, quick method for um, highlighting detail. And then I did the um, rust streaks on the soot. I did, um, didn't want to just have the same grey base coat, so I um, alternated darker and lighter, but then I realised you get the um, decals for different palette, panel colours, so that actually covered up some of my painting, which made it pointless to do some of the, the panels that I did, but oh well. 
Um, just turn the light back on. Um, and then, because it was quite hard to get the right colour, I sort of guesstimated it. Um, some of the panels that were meant to be lighter than the decal panels, anyway, that were meant to be lighter than the base coat colour were actually darker, so, well, still looks good in my eyes, and I'm happy with it. It's a good kit, highly recommended. Um, what else? The base, I'm pretty happy with the base. Um, just use sort of my imagination with it. Um, obviously you get this, you get a like, texturized plastic base, like it's like rippling sand, I guess. Um, I wanted a deserty thing. Um, I guess the plastic would be too smooth to. I went for um, super glue, and um, it was supposed to be uh, bicarb, but I didn't have any, so we didn't have any. So I used baking soda, and it kind of just activated the super glue and made it dry instantly. Um, but it didn't have the um, roughness that I wanted. So I slapped more on and more, and then I ran out of super glue, so I used um, matte varnish. So it made this kind of like um, lumpy effect, which I was quite happy with. And then I dry brushed it, painted it, and base coated it, and I dry brushed it to make it look like a rocky outcrop in like a desert area. Um, I didn't base it on anything, I just sort of, like I say, use my imagination. As it is sci-fi, so you can sort of let your imagination run a bit. But yeah, that's that. Um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, it looks really cool when it's pretty dark in the room. So all I can do is um, just turn off that light at the moment, cause it's daytime. But you get you see some of the lights there. Um, fully painted the cockpits and the gunners bay and put all the figures in, but you can't see that. And I don't know if I can zoom in enough. I'll try. Uh, let's see. You probably can't see that anyway, but you see a little bit of it. Um, gives you a bit of a close up of my modelling skills, painting skills. Not perfect, but overall, happy with it. I hope you like it. Any comments or questions, feel free to um, comment uh, and subscribe if you like my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks guys.